Hi, this is John Lackness with the U.S. Office of Broadcast Depot, and this is BD Inside. Today, we're going to be opening up the DEVA Radio Explorer 2, a device that can help not only engineers, but programmers as well. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Well, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside the DEVA Radio Explorer 2. Very compact box that this is shipped in. As we open it up, styrofoam packing keeps it well in place. Further inside, we find a lot of packing, packing uh, peanuts, USB cable, the Radio Explorer 2 itself is right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. As you can see on the front is the, is the uh, uh, condition of conformity. We'll put this out of the way right quick. And as you can see, the box itself, uh, the Radio Explorer 2, uh, just to keep all the stuff that we normally get off of, a, off of peanuts, it's very well wrapped so we don't get a lot of the little uh, microplastic that's involved here. So let's go ahead and unwrap this and take a little bit further look inside it. So here's the, here's the unit itself. Very compact, it is made out of metal, so you know that it's gonna get a lot of, uh, if you get put into a lot of use, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be well taken care of. Connectors on the, on the back, we'll explain these in just a, a couple of moments. So I'm gonna put this down here in front and let's see what else is inside the box. Also inside is the power cord, as well as, as wrapped. Magnetic mount antenna for reception. Twelve volt power supply for your automobile, so when you go out into the field that you can uh, actually power the device as you drive around the countryside and take uh, mobile readings. The 110 volt power supply itself. And as we dig through here, let's see, I know there's something else in here because I can feel it. Let's see what this is. I hate tearing a box up. There we go. And here's the GPS antenna. That is all inside this little box. Like as I said before, uh, very well taken care of. Now let's put it all together and see how this thing works. All right, now that we have everything unboxed, let's take a little bit closer look as we attach everything together. On the back of the Radio Explorer 2, here are the connectors. The power supply is through this uh, XLR over here. The GPS antenna is on an SMA connector next to this. Here's your USB and your LAN, AES out, and left-right audio is out here as well. Antenna right here that you'll be using for the top of your car will be plugging in here through this uh, BNC connector. Let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, connect all this together real quick as I do so. And then we're going to apply power to it and see what this little baby can do. Take me just a second to get all this uh, up on here. There we go. And then here is the GPS antenna on the little SMA connector. There we go. All right, now let's power it up and see what this, what this can do. As you can see, it only took just a couple of seconds for this to boot up, and everything that you need is right here at your fingertips. You can see your settings, your stereo, you have a scope involved here. Everything is very easily accessible, plus you can also access and program this by a GUI, and we're gonna show this to you here in just a few moments. All right, now that we've already got this thing ready to go, what can this actually do for you? Well, before you put it in your car and you start taking it out on the road, hook this up to your computer. Let's look at the GUI, set it up to where you can look not only at your signal, but also your competitors or multiple competitors. 
You get out in your car, you put your antenna on the roof as well as your GPS antenna and drive your pattern or drive your competitor's pattern. About every 10 seconds, this thing's gonna start looking for data. It's gonna download it to the box. Then when you get back to your station, you'll be able to download this to your computer and then analyze everything that's right before you. First of all, check the DEVA broadcast website for firmware upgrades available for the equipment. To enter the GUI, open your browser and put the IP address that you've previously configured into the device. The first thing we will find is the welcome page where we will use the username admin and the password will be default admin. Then we will have access to the central menu where we will make the previous configuration before going to the field. The first thing we do is to go to the tuner section on the menu. Switch to auto, the attenuator mode, then the de-emphasis switch to 75 microseconds. That corresponds to the North American area. We save the configuration and then go to the logger menu, which is where we are going to configure the frequencies that we are going to analyze. Now for the device to start the capture, we have to enable the logger option. When placing it in the after 10 second mode, it means that when turning on the equipment in the vehicle, it will automatically begin to capture data after 10 seconds. Now we start the data campaign by connecting the device in the vehicle. Remember to place the antenna and the GPS on the roof of the car. The device will activate the logger and will start scanning about 10 seconds after hooking up the GPS. After driving the route, we download the data to the computer and there we can see on the map the results of our campaign. There we can see the status of the frequencies in the different areas of the route. Here we can see which areas the RF signal is the strongest or where it's the weakest. Also the pilot level, the multipath, the MPX, RDS, as well as left and right audio, among other data. For more information on the DEVA Radio Explorer 2 or other DEVA products, give us a call at Broadcast Depot at 305-599-3100 or check us out at 7BD.com.